If you're a lover of all things vintage and have a passion for preserving those special ephemera pieces, today's video is for you. You may recall my recent venture into the world of selling physical products. Well, I'm thrilled to announce another exciting addition. These 10 beautiful vintage ephemera holders soon available in my shop. The vintage covers are hand selected and with the vellum envelopes inside and the spiral binding, they are perfect for storing your cherished ephemera. In today's video, I'm going to show you my personal one and what I store in it. And I will give you a close up look of these new additions. Shall we take a look together? Welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So I was lucky enough to find a book cover with my name on it. How special is that? <laughs> and this is an image of a girl dressed in the traditional Austrian dress that we call Dirndl. My mom used to make dresses like this. And even though I'm not blonde, I can totally see myself in this. Love this book so, so much. And let me show you inside. So on mine, I made vellum pockets also on the front and the back of the cover. These other books do not have them because I wanted to give you the choice of adding pockets or not. So here you can see the added vellum envelopes. So I just store various ephemera in here. These are some from the Your Creative Studio boxes as well as just random papers. Then here I have some cutouts from mushrooms. These are from my printables. I could use these in fall actually. Perfect timing now. These I believe are from Amity Bloom from Nazi. Here I have some fabric scraps. I might actually take these out and put something else in here because I don't tend to think of this ephemera holder when I think of fabric scraps. So I might change that. Here I have some labels. I really like that you can see through the envelopes so that I can easily just flip through and see what the envelopes hold. And I also like that it has a flap to secure my ephemera, I don't have to be worried about it falling out or anything. There's some more mushrooms. I really need to remember to use these now. I think all of these are from the Digital Design Club. You can always find links for the Digital Design Club in my description box under every video. These are also from my shop. They're images from some vintage books. Here are some butterflies, all kinds of sizes, most of them fussy cut already. These are again from my old, from my old shop, from my own shop. <laughs> but these are pretty old and I'm not very happy with the print quality. These tickets are great. I have these in my shop as well. So you're welcome to browse my shop. If you're not so familiar with it, the link is down below this video. These are some tiny book pages, also printables from my own shop. I need to remember to use these. These were some stamps from one of the Your Creative Studio boxes that I've even colored. Oh, there's even a random dragonfly washi sticker in here which actually goes one for the back because that's where I seem to have more of them and some more washi stickers these were from the your creative studio boxes and that's the back I do my best not to fill them up too much because otherwise it gets so bulky. I mean, you can always add a ribbon on top, but I don't do that because I want mine very easily accessible. So when I'm looking for specific ephemera, I don't want to have to worry about taking off a ribbon or twine or anything before I open this. So I try to keep it basically like this so I don't need to add anything on top and I can just 
grab it from my shelf, open it and find what I need. So let me show you the 10 that will be available very soon. And I'll let you know the date in a moment. So let's start with this one. So most of these are German. So in German, this one says, Heidi kann brauchen, was ist gelernt hat. And in English, this would translate to, Heidi can use what she has learned. Really beautiful cover. Has this embossing here on the back. The inside covers look like this. This is the original paper that it had. And there's the back and there's the 10 envelopes. Obviously, the sizes vary a little bit, so the envelopes inside vary as well because I tried to adapt those to the book covers as well as I could. So you will find all the dimensions in the listings in my shop. And all of them have 10 envelopes, except I think there's one that has 11. And I will note that in the shop, which one that is. Then we have another more modern Heidi version. This is the back. And again, you'll find photos of these, of course, in the listings themselves. So you can see here the envelope size is a little bit bigger than on this Heidi one because the book cover is a little bit bigger. These two are from a series. Trotzkopf would be the word for someone who is defiant. And Brautzeit means bridal time and this says a story for young girls really like this image it looks like she's journaling the back is plain white the inside is white as well and we have our 10 envelopes and this is the back inside This one says Trotzkopf, again, the defiant one, as grandmother. So obviously she has aged a bit. Again, this says a story for young girls. Totally different color scheme. The back is white again. So are the insides. So of course, if you wanted to, you could decorate and embellish the insides as well. This is from another series. Nesthäkchen means something like the baby of the family. So the youngest child. <laughs> Backfischzeit. Oh my goodness, this is so hard to translate. I would say, well, that's a specific age in her life. And it looks like teenager age, I guess. Hard to translate. <laughs> This is really interesting because this has the synopsis of the book here on the book cover that was like that originally. I think that's a really nice uh, addition. And yeah, the back is like blue and this is completely blank. And we have this one. This looks very classic. This is the back printed in Leipzig, Germany. This is the inside. Again, these are the original end papers. And that's the back. And we have this one, which I really like. So there's no words on this. This is the back. Inside is white, both in the front and the back. And we have this one, which is again from a children's book series. Gula is the name of the girl. So the title is Gula at Kernhof would be like, it's like a big mansion, basically. I, I don't know how to translate it correctly. So that's the back, it's just white. Also the insides are plain white so lots of space for adding your own end papers or decorations or whatever then we have mary poppins <laughs> this one is the widest one the back is this mint green inside is plain white both on the front and the back so these envelopes of course are wider than the other ones so as a comparison it's like almost a centimeter wider, actually. 
And finally, we have this one, which says the two friends. That's the back with a synopsis. I think that's cool that it has it right on the back cover. And the insides are white again. So these unique ephemera holders will be available for purchase in my shop starting Sunday, September 15th at 6 p.m. Central European time. And to make things easy for you, I'll include a global time converter link so you can quickly find the corresponding time for your local area. Simply click on the link below this video to visit my shop and explore these unique items. Happy shopping and I hope you find something that sparks your creativity. Love you guys! Mwah! Mwah!